Lord, we want to thank you for another day of life that you blessed. Lord, we want to thank you, Father, uh, for just another opportunity, Lord, that we could gather in thy house. It's so sweet to be here with our uh, brothers and sisters and friends. Uh, Father, Father, we ask, Lord, that you just bless this service, Father. We ask, Lord, that you bless the singing and the preaching. Father, I pray that you just hide us all behind the cross, Father. I pray someone hear something or see something, Lord, that will, uh, will allow you to draw them uh, to you, Father. We're so thankful, Lord, for your drawing power, Father. We're thankful for this cross, Lord, and what it means to us, Father. Father, I pray uh, that you just continue to bless. Uh, I pray you could continue to bless the youth that's next door, Lord. Uh, I pray that you just move in a mighty way in our church, Father. Father, we love you and we thank you. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we get started, we had how many? Eight decisions last night to follow the Lord? Eight? Eight kids came and gave their hearts to the, your hearts to the Lord last night. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for that. And you're more than welcome to stand up, like I said, with us. Fellowship while we're singing this song. Shake everybody's hand that you didn't get to shake. Just make your way around, and we love you. We're going to sing wherever I go All my life, all I know God's been good and good to my soul Mountain high, valley low I'm going to sing wherever I go I say all my life, all I know God's been good and good to my soul Mountain high, valley low I'm gonna sing wherever I go God is for me Not against me And I will hold to the plans He has for me And when I'm broken He will fix me And I will call on the name of the Lord All my life All I know God's been good Good to my soul Mountain high Valley low I'm gonna sing Wherever I go He's my heart song In my sorrow He's my hope And my strength For tomorrow when the storms rise all around me, I will call on the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hey. Hey. All my life, all I know, God's been good and good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm going to sing wherever I go. Cause I've got a joy, joy, joy deep in my soul. Cause I will sing, sing, sing wherever I go. All my life, all life. When darkness tries to roll over my bones When sorrow comes to steal the joy I own When brokenness and pain is all I know Oh, I won't be shaken Oh, I won't be shaken My fear 
doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. Well, shame no longer has a place to hide And I am not a captive to the lies I'm not afraid to leave my past behind No, I won't be shaken Oh, I won't be shaken My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love oh I'm standing in your love cause there's power that can break off every chain there's power that can empty out a grave there's resurrection power that can save there's power in your name power in your name sing it with us there's power that can break off every chain there's power that can empty out a grave there's resurrection power that can save. There's power in your name. Power in your name. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love oh I'm standing in your love cause my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. Oh, I'm standing in your love. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing, I'm standing in your love. Oh, I am standing on the rock. I am standing in your love. Oh, I am standing on the rock. Firm foundation. My firm foundation. Oh, I am. Standing on the rock. Oh, I am standing in your love. Oh, I am standing on the rock. My firm foundation. You're my firm foundation. Because my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand.
needed someone to come rescue me then mercy heard my plea yeah. Lord you found me you heal me you called me from the grave you gave me a real love I thank you Jesus you washed my sins away and now I'm living like I'm forgiven you came and set me free and that's what your mercy did for me you gave me beauty for my guilty stains and now I'm living day to day by your grace so excuse if I can't contain my praise Cause I know that I've been saved Lord, you found me, you healed me You called me from the grave You gave me a real love, I thank you, Jesus You washed my sins away And now I'm living like I'm forgiven you came and set me free, yeah, and that's what your mercy did for me. And every morning, mercy will restore me, I will proclaim. Jesus, you wash my sins away, and now I'm living like I'm forgiven. You came and set me free, yeah. That's what your mercy did for me. That's what your mercy did for me. And that's what your mercy did for me. Thank you. All throughout my history, your faithfulness has walked beside me. The winter storms made way for spring In every season From where I'm standing I see the evidence of your goodness All over my life All over my life I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life, all over my life. Help me remember when I'm weak, the fear may come, but fear will leave. You lead my heart to victory. You are my strength, and you always will be. I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life. All over my life I see the cross, the empty grave The evidence is endless All my sin rolled away Because of you, oh Jesus I see the cross, the empty grave 
The evidence is endless. All my sin rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. Oh, I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life. All over my life, I see your promises in fulfillment. All over my life, all over my life, I see the evidence of your goodness. All over my life, all over my life. Thank you, Lord. I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life, all over my life. Why should I fear the evidence is here? Just look around you. Why? Should I fear? Oh, the evidence is here. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so you're so good to me. Sing it with us. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. You're so good to me one more time oh God you're so good God you're so good God you're so good you're so good to I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life, all over my life. Why? Should I fear Oh, the evidence is here Why should I fear The evidence is You know, last night was a really good night. It was. And I'd love to say that I felt really close to God the whole week. I'd love to say that. But I didn't. But he took me back in a second. He took me back just like that. I will never understand it. How much love he has for me and how much love he has for us. I'll, ne I'll never understand it. But his ways are above my ways, and, I, and I'm thankful for that. Sometimes you might feel alone. Sometimes I feel alone. But he, he'll never leave you or forsake you. And nobody loves you like our, like our God, That's it. like our Jesus. Amen. Nobody will ever will. Lay down his life. No greater love than this for a man lay down his life for his friends. For I no longer call you servants, but friends. <laughs> Think about that. That's my God. And he loves me 
unconditionally. And I can never thank him enough for that. I can't. So if you're here today, lost and undone, just come to him. He will take you like that. The angels in heaven will rejoice that you made the decision to follow Jesus. And that's all he wants. He don't want you to look your best. He don't want you to say the right things. Like, I don't know if I'm saying the right things, but ah, it doesn't matter. He just wants you as ugly and as broken and dirty as you are. He wants you. I lift up dirty hands every Sunday, but he's saying, oh, there's those hands. There's those hands that I blessed. So if you think you're too dirty, you're too lost, you're too broken, you're not. Because our God went all the way. He went all the way. This is here for a reason. That's open for a reason. He loved you enough to get up from there and went down to hell and came back in three days. He loves you this morning. He loves me. And I don't know why. But he does. I love you all. But God loves you more. I've got a friend. Closer than a brother, there is no judgment. no judgment. Oh, how he loves me! Thank you, Lord. I've got a friend, yeah. he's my friend, and he is my strength. My strength. You know what? <laughs> he is my portion, That's right. he's always with me, he's with me in the valley, with me in the fire, with me in the storm. Especially in the storm. Let all my life testify. Hallelujah. We are not alone. God really loves us. God really His mercy's enough. His grace is sufficient. So come if you're needing forgiveness or healing. His mercy's enough. Oh, and this is our home. The cross it has spoken. Death is no more, Christ is the Lord, oh, this is our home, hallelujah, we are not alone, God really loves us, God really loves us.
Oh, praise my soul. God really loves us. God really loves us. Hallelujah. We are not alone. God really loves us. God really loves us. Hallelujah. Oh, praise my soul. God really loves us. God really loves us. And oh, oh we don't deserve you. Sing oh, and oh, we sing oh, oh. What a father. What a friend, what a Savior He is. What a Father, what a friend, what a Savior He is. I'm going to do just a few prayer requests. If anybody has a prayer request that they would like to open up, we got beside ourselves for a little bit and uh, would let make be known. I want to pray for Daniel Harris. He's had a four-wheel wreck. And uh, my Fallen Creek, we all need to be praying for him and all those that's on them four-wheelers out there. I used to be one of them myself. So, And uh, watch for them. So they're dangerous, but they're fun. So when you put fun and dangerous together, it gets a little crazy sometimes. So not saying he was doing anything wrong but if I would have been out there I would have been I would have been flying on it but uh, just say anybody got anything they'd like to confess I've confessed my faults now before you God is faithful and just to forgive me of them glory to God anybody Remember that. Brother Andy, won't you come up and take a prayer request? That'd be all right. Put him on the spot. Pray for Brother Andy. Hey, we're all in this thing together. The iron sharpeneth iron. And if we all help each other and we all try, we get this done. We get this job done and get on out of here and get to go to heaven. You know what I'm saying? But if we don't, we're going to be here forever. You know what I'm saying, too. And there's a place I don't want to be. There's a place I want to be. Come on, brother. First, I want to say uh, I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for coming out today because you could chose to go somewhere else, you could chose to stay home, but you chose to come be with us. So I thank you, and I'm sure Eric thanks you, and all the members thank you if you're not a member. So good hearty thank you. And with that, does anybody else have a prayer request? Brother Kearney Prater. Yeah, he's, he's been very sick. Let's remember Brother Kearney. Where? Oh, go ahead. Amen. Let's remember Brother Jeff Lester. Yep. Anybody else? Okay. Tim Ryan. Okay, is he doing pretty good? Good. Amen. Anybody else? Okay, Brother Craig. Okay. Who else? Right where? Oh. Let 
ethnic peace. Okay. Let's remember that request. Okay. remember that. Thank the Lord every day for watching over us. You know, um, it would be a sad situation if we didn't have the Lord to help us along, to guide us along, and really he's a guiding us when we don't realize he is. The footsteps in the sand, they're not mine. That's when he's carrying me. He was carrying me. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. Let's remember that. Don't want to leave anybody out. Amen. Brother Bob. Okay, Amen. I know. I know we have other members of our church that are very sick and they won't say nothing, but you know they need lifting up. As a matter of fact, we all need prayer. We all stand in need of prayer. I don't know nobody that don't need prayer. Amen. Amen. Just Carolyn. Let's remember Sister Patsy, right? Amen. Okay. Anybody else? Feel free. If you have a request, let it be known. And um, if not, we'll go to the Lord in prayer. And, um, you know, when I first started going to church, and they had prayer. Practically everybody, every member, they gathered around the altar. And everybody prayed with one loud voice. You couldn't understand what nobody was saying, but everybody was praying loudly to the Lord. So uh, I'm sure uh, nobody would mind if you'd want to come to this altar. If you're, it's up to, uh, up, up to you. So uh, with that, why, uh, we'll just hesitate a minute. With that, uh, let's all go to the Lord in prayer. Precious Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, as we come before you this day, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us just to be here, Lord. Thank you most of all for our Savior, Lord, in Jesus. And, O oh Lord, would you please look upon all these requests today, Lord. Would you bless each one, Lord, as it pleases you to bless, O oh Lord. For you're the one, Lord, that can take care of all these things, dear Lord. And, O oh Lord, would you... Lord, bless the, the speakers today that stand before us, Lord. Would you give them words of life to speak, O oh Lord? And, O oh Lord, please help us, Lord, that we will always be found, Lord, in your will, Lord. And, Lord, would you again bless each of my brothers and sisters here today. Bless them, Lord, to pray as, as, as your bidding would be, Lord. And now, Lord, it's in Jesus' name that I pray, Lord. Bless each one of my brothers, Lord, and sisters.
Just remember the prayer is sincere desire of your heart. And the Lord is the one to look to for all your strength. And with uh, with that, uh, I believe the next order is to call on Brother Junior. Brother Junior Gibson. Take off or something, though, that'll be all right. I won't go up anyway. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Let me get my, let me get my other eyes out here. You know, the one thing about it, I'm looking to go home one of these days. I know this old body's wearing out. I hurt. I ate. I got places that hurts now that never did hurt before. But I got a new body waiting for me. He promised me a new body. <laughs> and if you ain't here this morning and if you don't know this man called Jesus, I'm going to try my best if I can. I'll introduce him to him. If I can't, I'll get out of the way and there's always somebody else can. But now, I've been thinking about a few things. It's been some while since I've stood, to be honest with you, brother. But I've been, last year was a rough year for me. But I'm looking for this year to be a better year. I'm looking for this year to be the day that the Lord comes. How about you all? How many today is looking for the Lord to come? That's going to be a time that we can stand it all together and not have to worry about never being departed from no one else. See all our loved ones that's done gone on before us. Children that are coming today are going to be a separation day. And if your heart and your mind and your soul ain't right with God, it's going to be a sad separation. If you're, if you're righteous, your heart's right with the Lord, and you got the blood applied, it's going to be a good day. Brother, I don't know where you can keep up with me or not. I'm the type of person. I just bounce all over. I was thinking about when Paul was talking to the Romans. That's chapter 9, or verse 9. Long about the 31st verse. Verse. If it pleases you, I'll try my best. I'm going to say a little prayer that God will. Dear Heavenly Father, as I bow my head here, Lord, before your footstool today, Lord, would you just bless these clay lips of mine. Use this tongue of my, in your, my mind and my thoughts, Lord, for you. I'm not no well-educated preacher, but I do the best that I know how through you. Now, Lord, just use me, guide me, and lead me. Give me the strength, Lord, to stand and proclaim your Son, Jesus Christ, this morning as a Savior. Now, Lord, go with us and help us, Lord. Help me, Lord, to stand here. Because it gets hard sometimes to not let the tears flow down from my eyes when I get thinking about all that's gone on before me. And one day I'll be able to stand there and look up and see them all. Not just them, but all my loved ones in church has gone on before me. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen. If you have your Bible and you'd like to turn to 
Romans 9, all about the 31st verse there. Just have to give me a little patience, a little time, children. This is something that I was been thinking about, Brother Andy, for quite some time, a separation from this life to another life to come. I know if you're here in, in well, like me, you've been in church all about, about particular part of your life, and, but you get thinking all the trials and tribulations that you go through, it really it hurts. Uh, let me let me let me phrase you on that, brother. Back you up. Uh, I told everybody wrong. It's eight. It's at verse Romans eight, verse thirty-one. Paul was telling them here in in Rome, you know, when he was there, telling them the things that was going on. He said, "What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us." Who can be against us? Who can be against us? Think about that. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall not how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? All things. What is all things? Salvation. Gladness. Happiness. Joy, peace. Be able to lay down on your pillow at night with peace, knowing if daylight don't come, you'll go home and be with the Lord. Who shall lay, who shall lay anything to his charge of, of God? The leg. It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns us? Is it Christ that died? Yea, rather that he rose again. Who is ever at the right? Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercessions for us? Who shall separate us? Now listen to this. This is what I want to get out, if I can at all. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? Distress, persecution, phantom, nakedness, pearls of time, or sorrow, or swords, that's war. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. I know trials and tribulations and all this comes about us. We're living in a world right now, children, that trials and tribulations is heavy. There's trouble on every hand you look at. When you turn your TV on, all you see is trouble and some trials and wars and phantoms and pestilence. And people are doing this and doing that. It's all right. Live this way a while. Live that way a while. But brother, when that day separation comes, you're going to be separated from the love of God for eternity. Think about that. Glory to God when you're separated from the Almighty God. You'll be standing there all alone by yourself uh, on that day of judgment. Brother, when you stand there, you'll give account for everything done in the body, where it's good or where it's bad, Brother Andy. You won't have you won't have your wife, you won't have your child, you won't have your mother, you won't have your sister, you won't have your brothers, you won't have nobody. You'll stand there uh, all by yourself uh, and you'll give account that every deed that's done in this body where it's good or where it's bad. Think about that. If you've done good today, have you done bad today? How do you stand right now if the old sky should roll back like a scroll and he get up off in the cl- get up and come after his church? How do you stand today? Do you stand with Christ or are you separated from him? Rather, that day of separation will come no matter how hard you try not to because there are death and grave and Heaven the game. Brother, you're either going to leave this world like our brother preached to us, John Messenger, a while back. Brother, there ain't the two places you're going to go. Two things you're going to have to do in this life die. Or you're going to go, he's going to come. Death is at the door. Jesus is ready. 
All he's waiting is the Father to say, go down and get him. Brother, if you don't, can we go get me a little bit of water? But now listen, children, it's time that we wake up and look around what's going on in this old world we're living in. And it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. The land is sheep for the slaughter. It's like when Satan is after you. He's ready to slaughter you. He's ready. He wants to destroy your life. Okay, thank you, sir. He wants to destroy your life. He wants to make your life miserable when you're, when you're a child or a king. He wants to do everything he can to get you back out in this world. He wants to put every doubt in your mind that there's no heaven or no hell. hell there's nothing to it. But let me tell you, there are heaven to gain and a hell to shine. Ever so how that tree falls, so shall it be risen. My, 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 children, what a day that's going to be. <laughs> Lord, this is it. Nay, 37. Nay, in all these things we had, we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. And I like this right here. I am persuaded neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, things to, things to come, neither heights, neither debts, neither any creature shall be able. Glory to God. <laughs> Whoa, glory, don't that make you want to shout just a little bit? Nothing can be able huh, to separate you, brother, from the love of God if you turn your heart, mind, whole, and over to Him this morning. Huh? Give Him to Him. Huh? Let Him be in your life. Huh? Let Him treat you uh, the way He wants to treat you. Uh, just give Him a way, I tell you. Open that door. Huh? Yeah, there's no knob on the inside, brother, that he can, he can get a hold of. It's inside of your heart. You must open it up and give it unto Him this morning. Oh, listen, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. He loves us, brother. I just might not bring a whole lot to, I know a whole lot to a lot of you, but now it means a whole lot to me. I'm looking for that day. I'm looking for that day of resurrection when that old trumpet sounds. And oh, he's going to look over. Oh, listen, children, now, just for a few minutes of my time. Brother, my time's nothing to his time. His time is eternal. How about your time today? Is it eternal here on earth or in hell? Is it going to be with God when he calls you out of this world? Oh, listen now, children. What a time that's going to be when he gets up and he looks over. He says, Father, Father, is it time for me to go down? Glory to God. Go down and get my children. Bring them up out of that great tribulation they've even been in. All the time, brother, you've been in pain and hurt, sorrow and death, and all these things are coming up on the land. Brother, I don't worry a whole lot about it, but I know who's still in control, brother Andy. It's God Almighty. He, he's still in control. He's all, he's still, uh, like the old saying, he, he's got his finger on that bomb. He can push it any time he wants to. Uh, and brother, he can turn it loose. Uh, I don't know where you're ready or not today to meet him, uh, but I hope and pray that you are. Uh, Glory to God. It's just a short time here upon this earth. Let me tell you, your days is numbered. Even then, brother, I can tell you, I see some, some brothers ain't got a whole lot of hair on their head, but you, you're numbered by every hair that's mounted on that head. Glory to God. He, he knows every thought that you think and everything that you do. And brother, you don't hide nothing from him. Won't you just turn your hearts over to him this morning? Give it to Jesus this morning. Let him save you from a 
burning hell. Brother, there's going to come a day when he says, son, go down and get my church. And when he does, brother, he's going to be like the sheep. We're going to put the sheep on one side. The goats on the other. What are you talking about, preacher? Our brother over in the book of Matthew, I tell you about that separation there, about the sheep and the goats. And brother, I'm telling you, you'll have to be standing on one side or the other. You won't be standing in the middle. Our brother, he'll have to say, he'll look down to the sheep. Come on in, into the joys of the Lord. And then he's going to look over on the right and the left. Depart from me, uh, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. What words you don't want to hear. Uh, I don't want to hear those words, children. Uh, I don't want to say, uh, Lord, I've done this and I've done that. And he'll look at me and oh, that ain't what you didn't do or what you ain't done. I don't see no blood applied. Glory to God, I don't see nothing applied to that heart. Uh, I don't see Jesus in your life. My son that I sent down and you turned him away day after day, week after week, year after year. Uh, brother, you never turned him, you turned him away. Now I'm going to turn you away. Uh, depart from me. Uh, you don't want to hear that. Uh, uh, children, turn your hearts over to him today uh, before it's everlasting too late. Uh, I know uh, here's the cross. There's the tomb. Uh, the cross is empty. The tomb is empty. Where's Jesus? He's sitting on the right hand of my Father. He's making the intercession for our sins today. Whoa, glory! Think about that. No better thing felt than that. Brother, I believe I could run a little bit if I could get down here. I'm telling you what, my feet get hot. Brother, I know when I'm home by myself now, I sit down and I read. Boy, I'll tell you what, if anybody's outside, they say there's something wrong in that house. What's going on in there now? Brother, I get into these words and I get seeing what he's going to do for me. And I know, I know, and I know, Brother Andy, where I'm going and where I'm headed. How about you this morning? Well, I've got troubles. I've got trials. I've got tribulation. Brother, let him have it. He'll help you take care of it. Brother, I'll tell you, because, don't think because I'm saying you, if you're a Christian, everything's going to be all right. It's not. Brother Satan, get on your back and hurry when you're a Christian. He'll ride you like a horse. Or, I mean, like, a, like you ride a horse. That's how he'll ride you. He'll get right up on you, brother, and he'll get in your mind. He'll tell you, 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 you ain't saved. You ain't going to make it. Why well, keep on trying? Brother, I've been at this since 1983. Ooh, boy, I ain't going to give it up now. I ain't giving it up. You can give up all you want to. Just, uh, I feel like a few more days and I'll be going home. I feel like I might take the wings of an angel. Start flying, Sister Crystal. I'll start going through there. Lord, but when I look up, I know. I know who I'm going to see. My Redeemer draws nigh unto me. A glory to God when He sees you coming, my friend. Ah, uh, my, 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 my. What a glorious time that's going to be. Children, that ought to make you want to shout and run and preach and uh, sing and carry on like something crazy. You know, we're crazy people. That's all right. I, I, I've been crazy all my life just about it. But I'll tell you what, I got a little more crazy when I got in with the Lord. You know, sometimes it gets hard to stand, brother. When things start happening in your life. And you're saying, well, Lord, where did I go wrong? What happened? Why did this happen and why did that happen? I ain't, I ain't consent. I mean, he don't show no favor. He don't show no favor. The only thing that he'll show a favor to He'll save your soul. I don't care how small you are, how big you are, how ugly you are, how overweight you are, how pretty you are, whatever. He don't look at that. The outside part, he don't look. This don't change. Glory to God, what changes this? Lord, I better not step on them. 
This ain't what changes. It's in here what changes. When he reaches in here and he works on that old heart, man, oh man, don't he dust a number on it, don't he? You ain't the same no more. Why ain't you the same? <laughs> you born again. I've been baptized in the blood, rose to the light. Boy, I can just imagine when John seen Jesus come and told him to be baptized and when he took him out there in that old water and when he laid him down in that old grave, raised him up, there come the dove. Oh, oh, Lord, wouldn't you like to be in there? Woo, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Think about that just for a minute. We may be sitting around right here. We don't know in a few more minutes. Brother, we may see Jesus coming and all the holy angels with him and all those that's done died with him. Glory to God. And we'll be able to sit around with them. Brother Andy, when we get home, I'll be able to sit there for eternity. Brother, out through eternity. Never be separated again. Never, never again. I'm going to leave you with these words. I'm going to hush and get out of the way. I feel like I'm just rattling now. God is good. He's good always, all the time. But Andy, I've never, I've never, the trials that we go through, I've never not stopped to bow my head and pray, Lord, I need you. It's me, Lord. It's me. I'm in trouble now. I need a little help. Would you pull me on through this, Lord? Would you just help me just for a few, just for a few more minutes? Lord, when I lay down on my bed and close my eyes, will you just give me a little bit of rest? Because I know my time is coming. My days are shortened, but I know <laughs> our Redeemer is now. I know, I know that he's going to come back. Where I'm in the grave or where I'm standing here or where I'm at, he's coming. But it's a wonderful thing that you can be able, when you're there and you can pray, at your bedside, by yourself. And it just seems like something comes down and just covers you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Have you ever had that? God, have you ever had that feeling? <laughs> Lord, it's just sitting there in your chair. And all of a sudden, things got to happen. You say, Lord, it's just me. I love you. And he just comes down to that. <laughs> Go, hallelujah, children. How can you not love him? Think what he done for you. He went from here to there. They nailed him on the cross. He bled and died. That blood is still flowing. Oh, he's a flowing right now. I can feel it. I can feel that Holy Spirit. Can anybody here feel that? Mm, my, my, don't that make... Well, glory, don't that make you want to shout just a little bit? Well, glory, don't that make you want to run just a little bit? Glory, don't that put far under your feet just a little bit? Don't that make the hair stand up on the back of your head? Well, glory to God this morning on high because He's there. He's there. Now, if you've not met this man yet, I'm going to introduce him to you. He's right here. He's right down here. He's all over. He's all over. He don't hide. He knows your mood. He knows where you're at. He knows your heart. He knows your trial. But listen, children. Time is going to run out. I don't know who it is here today, but I feel like somebody's been turning him away for a while. I don't know. You know how?
house, son. You just get that that spiritual feeling, brother Andy. You want to turn him away one one time too many. The door's going to shut. He's not going to come back no more. Knock on that door. It's like the day in Noah. He got into the ark. All those got in with him. God's mighty hand, I believe with all my heart, he shut that door. Don't ever thought nothing about the rain and come, the flood and come, the storm and all that. Nobody, they, they thought he really thought he was like we are. You know, we, they, we, you're a free will Baptist, they think we're a little bit dingy, I think, sometimes. But, yeah. That's it, brother. Excuse me. Then you stand there and all of a sudden the rain starts coming down and boy, it starts coming hard. And I know you've seen some floods around here, so that's right. But it just keeps coming and coming. Boy, they start climbing and squalling and I can see them now. My visual eyes, I can see them, Brother Andy. Oh, let me in, please let me in, let me in, please. Open up, open up. Climbing up the trees just as far as they can get away from it. God covered the whole earth with water. But no one was saying one thing. Thank God that no one got the righteous man. That's going to be the way it's going to be when Jesus returns. He may turn him away today, but he may come today. I'm going to turn it over to my pastor. I think I'm, like I said, I've <laughs> mumbled enough and went on enough cried a little bit and said this word and that word and all these kinds of words. But I hope, I hope you took something to your heart. I hope you think in your heart today. Think, think down in here. In your mind. Get Jesus in your mind. And get him down here in your heart. Let him in. Let him in with, with you just for a little while. He won't make you stay. You don't have to stay. I say, I, I'm, I'm inviting you today trying. See if you like it. He's the best friend you ever had. He's better than any people. Better than a brother. Than a sister. Than a mother. Sticks closer, he's like glue. You can't, he's like that crazy glue. You get it on, you can't get him off. And that's the way Jesus is. I thank you for your attention this morning. God bless you. I love you. And I look around, and I hope I see every one of you all over in heaven. Oh, that's where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but that's where I'm going. God bless you. I love you. Come on. I love to hear my brother preach. I mean, him was going through all the ordaining stuff years ago, and and uh, we was like popcorn, weren't we, brother? I'd pop up, and he'd pop up, and, and everything, and, and he'd done a fine job. He handled the word well. He's warned you that there's a heaven, and there's a hell. Bad news is that hell's real. Good news is that heaven's real. I'm going to ask you to accept Jesus, Okay. I'm going to tell you that this church is probably, uh, these services are probably different than what you're used to. Can I get an amen? All right. And the reason is, is because God's got a plan. And every time I try to do something, I mess it up. So if I just let God keep going, it'll be all right. Iron sharpeneth iron. That's the reason you let the brothers preach. And that's the reason we jail and become a family. That's the reason we all got a place in the pulpit. That's the reason when we start preaching and we all come together, we can be like the disciples. Uh, and then you can have an upper room, praise the Lord. And then you can know what the upper room really about and the fire that falls down from heaven upon each one of us. And we know that last night they wondered why everybody was shouting out here. Well, you can feel the Spirit of God in this place like you can't feel it. I ain't feel it up here in a long time like that. I ain't feel it down there like that, praise the Lord. Everybody was praising the Lord. 
You know what happens when you start praising God in spirit and truth? You know what happens when you start worshiping because of who He is? And not what we are, but what He is. When you realize that we can't do nothing up here, but He done every bit of this, we're going to give Him glory for it. He gave us the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom to do everything that we do. Can't get up this morning without the breath in your lungs that the Lord gave us. Uh, how about somebody would give Him a little bit of glory this morning for who He is? Uh, woo! Glory! He's got a plan. He He's got a plan. We were waiting on the Lord. Uh, here at Caney, we're looking for Jesus so much, we've got a hole in the roof. Uh, praise the Lord. He's coming back. The same Jesus that went away. And yonder sky said, well, you man of Galilee, why are you standing here guarding, staring into the uh, heavens while this same Jesus that went away will come back in like manner? He will. He is. Get ready. Praise the Lord. You should be looking for Jesus more than the coming of the morning. What? Yes, we should be looking for Jesus because it said in the hour you think not the man cometh, uh, the son of man cometh. Uh, and I don't want him to catch me not looking. What about you? I won't be looking for him. Are you looking? Everybody try this. Your neck won't be so stiff. Look up. Don't that feel good? Lord, is that you? Don't that feel good? Yeah, just keep looking. He's coming. Just as sure as I'm standing here. You know, I got to thinking about Elijah when back in the day in the Bible it talks about, you know, and I thought about this. You know, that we say a man don't matter, and he don't, uh, uh, to a whole certain extent. But if God didn't see that Elijah meant something, he wouldn't have gave him the name Elijah, would he? That's the reason he called you Jason and me earlier. That's the reason he called you Andy. We've got a purpose in this thing, and we're fearfully and wonderfully made. Don't ever sell yourself short thinking she ain't nothing. But when you're doing something for God, you're something. When you ain't doing something for God, you're nothing. I'm just going to tell you that because it is nothing. And, uh, oh, I'm going to preach on nothing today. But I'm going to tell you this. I preached on nothing one time, but nothing's something. You know what I'm saying. But let me tell you, if you let God have his way in your life, you'll know what we're talking about. You may not have time to do this, but I hope you do. But I hope you accept Jesus Christ wholeheartedly in your heart. If you seek him with your whole heart, he says, I will be found. If you want to be found, reach up your hands. Praise God, it's a whole lot easier to find somebody if they're out there hollering, help! Don't go hide yourself somewhere thinking he's coming looking for you. I tell you this, he said, ah, uh. They said, you all act like a bunch of Pentecostals. That's well proven. What about if he just said, how about everybody look up? Or just keep looking to it, huh? Would you remember that? If you think you won't, I'll start running. <laughs> I want you to remember what this is all about. He preached about heaven and hell. You find heaven by accepting Jesus. You go to hell by staying just like you are. You don't have to do a thing. You're on your way. I hope you turn. And I hope you turn quickly. And I hope you start serving God with a fervency. 
and know who you, I know in whom I have believed and I'm persuaded he's able to keep that that I've committed to him until that day, brother. I know there's a God. Don't you? Can I get a witness today? How many in here knows there's a God? How many's accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Savior? How many's going to look up? Praise the Lord. That's what it's all about. We don't have to out-shout each other, but we got to out-praise each other. I'm going to out-praise you. You're going to out-praise me. We all going to go together. Let me tell you, there's one thing. Jesus, you can't do nothing for God that he ain't already done for you. But the thing is, if you praise him and worship him, that's the thing that he created us for, that we would praise and worship him. That we would be sincere in our hearts and love him like no other. Who come as a child and love God just like he is. Uh, he loves us and we don't know why. We start loving him, I think he'll just sit there wondering why sometimes. Because look what all he done, that we could accept him and have eternal life in heaven. He didn't do that for himself, he done it for us. How much better can it get than that? The best thing that ever happened to this world. Jesus. Best thing that ever happened to you. Jesus. Have you accepted the best thing ever? Come on, brother. Come on. We're going to bid you to come. We're going to ask everybody to stand if you're able.